day, good morning journey. This is your drive in with Pastor Mark this morning. I uh, hope you're up uh, having a good day on this uh, amazing Sunday morning. Uh, so we've uh, have been walking through the last several weeks uh, the state of theology uh, in, in uh, America today with Christians. And so there's a, a report put out every year uh, in partnership with Ligonier Ministries and Lifeway Press. And, and so we've kind of been taking each one of those a little piece at a time and digesting them. And so this morning, I wanted to take one uh, that I think really hits a lot of things uh, for us today. And it's the idea that, um, that all of us sin a little, but by nature, we are all basically good people. And there, there's some difficulties with that line of thinking. Uh, one is, is that we're told in, in Romans 15, uh, or Romans 5, 12 through 13, that all of us sin because of Adam, right? Because of his sin. So if you go all the way back to Genesis, this is kind of the, 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 where the rub comes a little bit. It's people say, well, you know, God created uh, man and woman, and, and he said it was good. He deemed it good. So we must be basically good. Well, the problem and the flaw with that way of thinking is, yes, that's how God originally created his creation before the fall. But man also uh, had a will to choose to perfectly obey and follow um, what God had created them to be and do, and they chose to sin. And because of sin, we all are sinners. In fact, we look in Isaiah 64, it says, even our most righteous deeds are, are as filthy, uh, polluted garments before a holy God. Um, and so uh, another kind of uh, difficulty with that line of thinking also is that we know that, that in James and in Galatian, um, it says that if, if we um, have committed one sin, one offense, one unrighteous act, then we are guilty of the whole law, of all of it. And and so, you know, the, the standard, I guess the gold standard for you and me in Scripture is uh, in Matthew 22, that we're to um, love the Lord our God with all our heart, all our soul, all our mind, all our strength. And then the second one is love our neighbors ourselves. So the standard is perfect love for you and me. And so I would ask you this morning, this week, have you perfectly loved your neighbor? Uh, I mean, even as early as this morning, have you perfectly loved in every way? See, if we don't meet that standard, then we are all um, sinners. In fact, as Ephesians chapter two says, says we are we are by nature children of wrath. And so the reality is, this is what happens is is we all want to compare ourselves next to somebody else. And so what we'll say is, man, I'm not as bad a sinner as that person, or. I'm not as evil as that person. If you look next to like Hitler and Stalin, people who murdered thousands of people, but in God's eyes, all sin is an offense to a holy God. And so even one sin makes us completely depraved of any good uh, that we could do. I mean, you can look at any child. How do they learn to do bad things? Did you go like teach them to do that? No, they're born that way. It's in our nature. Okay, to sin, and, and and so that sin nature carries with us. But the good news is, is it's by the grace of God through Jesus Christ alone that we're saved. Ephesians two eight through nine. For by grace you've been saved through faith. It's not your own doing. So see, the thing is, if we have an idea that that we sin a little bit, but we're all basically good people. Well, if we're all basically good people, why would Jesus have to come and die? Why would he come and die on a cross for people who are basically good? It makes no sense. And in fact, the Bible doesn't teach that. It teaches we are all sinners. We're in need of God's grace. But the good news is of the gospel is when we turn to him, when we turn away from our sins and towards a holy God uh, for his mercy and his healing on our life, the Bible says that he will now consider us as righteous through the, through the Lamb of God, which is Jesus Christ. So that's the good news for us today. I uh, hope this helps you a little bit with that idea and that thought. Uh, so we look forward to seeing you in worship this morning. Uh, if you haven't made your uh, way out of bed, go ahead, wake up, wake up, wake up. Uh, eggs and bakey, it's time to get up this morning and uh, let's get to church. We're finishing up at the journey. If you're in the clean area, we'd love to have you at the journey. We're going to be finishing up our um, 
our series uh, that we've been working through uh, on Help My Unbelief today. And so we'd love to have you uh, join us. If, you're, if you've ever dealt with a skeptic or somebody who's skeptical of Christianity, this is a great message for you. And so we'd love to have you join us this morning. So I love you very much. God bless and journey on.